So here you have it. The Unicorn Gundam in its Destroy Mode Glory. So I never expected such like a simple transformation to yield such results. And yet, with the simple transformation gimmicks, it... Wow, it blew me away. So I never really expected this kind of result in a 1144 scale and nothing really fall, fell off well despite my despite my incompetence and out of all this only the cheeks need to be necessarily taken off in order to interchange with the face well the simple transformation led to such an extraordinary presentation of the destroy mode unicorn gundam so it is, yes, yeah, still the Psycho Frame Phil Gundam that we've seen countless times in the Gunpla universe. But this is, pr it, I would not say the best, but it is the best 1144 scale representation of this, of the Unicorn Gundam in Destroy mode. The red looks absolutely amazing, but oh well, <laughs> well, well, well. But the proportions are really accurate and also the face the face is never meant to be menacing even in the anime but it is absolutely amazing but nope the problem with the head isn't solved the cheeks still collide with the collar so when you rotate it the head would just easily come off well since this is the same connection joint and you can see the unicorn mode head just hidden behind. And even though it is transformed, the articulation isn't really too, hen too hindered. Well, even the feet are not that hindered. You just need to you just need to make way for these two pieces to clip around this piece of armor. So, really this this is absolutely an amazing representation. So, the transformation it's not bad. It is as I would say good for a real grade, which is known for having falling parts. The integrity of this thing with the transformation gimmicks is well firm. Well, although it doesn't really lock any mechanisms into place, well, other than the arms, the integrity of this thing is enough to blow me away. And the representation of the unicorn Gundam. Is accurate, very accurate. So obviously, you still get the the regular accessories that were shown off in the unicorn mode part. But then, the beam tonfas are now ex accessible, so you can flip it out entirely. And where's my second beam? Oh, here you go. And then you can use it as hand-free swords. And of course, this gave you access to the two beam sabers and in the back. So you can have him hold it in the hand. And if you have like some leftover real great beans lying around, you can have the unicorn use the bean tonfas and hold the bean sabers, making it a crazy monster. And of course the shield. I need to show off the shield because it is transformed. Well pretend that never happened. Even though it has like and increased length and increased width it's not really hindered too much because it is so far away from the body so even with the transformed shield nothing is really too hindered so this is a really really great representation of the unicorn Gundam so that is the entirety of the Unicorn Gundam review. So here I have right to the left of the Gundam a photo of my high grade Banshee. Although this is not a not a relevant comparison at all, it is my closest comparison because well first of all my Banshee is breaking down due to aging, aging in the plastic so I want to just let it be. So that's why I took a photo of it, and now I'm posting it beside it. So here I bring in the high-grade HFX again, which is known for the clear green on its body. Yeah, I, as I said, it is an unfair comparison, but 
Really? It is amazing looking. So that is it for the review of the Unicorn Gundam. Tell me what what are your guys' thoughts in the comments below for the transformation, the unicorn mode, and the destroy mode. And also, please let me know in the comments below if there is anything extra to the uh, premium box art release of the Unicorn Gundam. Because it costs 20 more dollars to buy for me. So, I'm wondering what is different inside the box in terms of contents. But anyways... In my opinion, if you haven't get haven't got this kit, definitely go pick it up because the transformation is um, is really greatly executed. The representation of the unicorn and destroy mode is very good, and all in all, the integrity. Well, despite the skirt just keep on popping up because of my incompetence. The integrity of this thing is absolutely phenomenal. So you do not really need to worry about falling parts. That's why no glue required is a fact. So that's all for the review. Thank you all so much for watching the three-part review. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more gaming videos, mod reviews, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to Ultra Prime, Azio Videos, Pure Percentage, and Plow Model Productions if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.